The biorepository is more than a giant freezer because on the inside there's cutting edge robotic technology to dramatically improve research efficiency. A vast array of blood and DNA samples can now be stored and retrieved in minutes from a single secure location. Those products would be things like serum, plasma, and we extract DNA from the blood as well for genomic studies. Robots are also used to extract DNA for later storage in the biorepository. This robot we use to extract DNA primarily from blood samples, but we can also collect from saliva, buccal swabs, different types of tissues. The interesting thing about this machine is that it, use a, it uses a uh, magnetic bead technology to move the DNA from place to place while it's doing the extraction. Once the DNA attaches to the beads, it will go through a series of wash steps. So it will, there are six wash steps that it goes through. You can see that the solution starts to clear up as the, the beads attach to the bottom of the magnetic rod. So the advantage to using this machine is that we can get a pure DNA product at the end for the researcher to use for their um, project. Each sample gets a unique barcode so that it can be tracked by computer and retrieved by the robots inside the freezer. What we have here is a, uh, a sample rack uh, with samples. Uh, they are 2D barcoded samples. Uh, the 2D barcodes are on the bottom and our reader is right here and we'll read the samples. A dual refrigeration and backup system stores the samples at ultra low temperatures. We're inside the repository now where it's normally minus 20 degrees Celsius, but inside these cassettes where the samples are stored, it's minus 80 degrees Celsius, cold enough to blister human skin. But no one needs to enter the freezer to retrieve a sample. That's all handled by the robots, which can quickly and accurately retrieve hundreds or even thousands of related samples. It is a huge time saver. And it's a huge improvement over traditional freezers. With tubes that are hand labeled or labels are taped on the sides of the tubes and sometimes those labels come off, it requires a lot of technician time. The biorepository will eventually hold nearly one million samples all micromanaged by the robots to maximize the available space and retrieve samples in record time. The biorepository will be especially valuable to genomic researchers. The Program for Personalized and Genomic Medicine has set up a biobanking um, initiative in the hospital where we're collecting samples from any individual who walks through the door and is going to become a patient of the system. The University of Maryland Medicine Biorepository is a freezer that will be heating up research and discovery at the School of Medicine. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.